Okay, so we want to be able to make a prediction about what's going to be happening. So the first thing we've got to think about, well, say I take it out the year now, 2016. I have got plenty of data to tell me what happened in the past. Okay, so I've got lots of past data, I know exactly what went on in the past. But right at this moment, 2016, I know what's happening as I go. Do I know what's going to happen over the next year? No, I don't. I can come up with some reasonable guesses as to what's going to might happen. I suspect that we're going to get a winter and then we'll get another summer. So I can have some general ideas. But further than that, 2018, I'm starting to become less certain about what's going to happen. And certainly beyond that time frame, I'm getting a lot more uncertain as to what might happen. So in the NZ Grapher, the program that we use, will do predictions for up to two years beyond the data. It will not do predictions beyond that, okay? So if you've got data like this one, the data goes up to 2012. So with that data set, it can predict the next two years, which is up to 2014. So it can make predictions here. Um, and that's what we want to be able to say in our prediction, which comes straight under our purpose. So we need to think about, well, what is it that we're predicting? Well, we're predicting um, about our sea ice. So that's our topic, is our sea ice, and we're talking about the area. Um, okay, sea ice area, and we're talking about the sea ice area in the Arctic. I've been talking about in my purpose statement about global warming, so that suggests that over time I think that the ice might be getting smaller. Okay, it's a smaller area over time. And that may be due to global warming. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so now I've got to turn this into um, a prediction. So I predict, oh, and I need to say that it's for two years. Okay, so I predict that the area of sea ice in the Arctic, so I'm saying all about my data set, my variables and so on, the area of sea ice in the Arctic is getting smaller over time and I will make predictions for two years beyond my data. Okay, and then later in the, when we actually make these predictions then we'll talk about exactly how accurate those predictions are.